Hi everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov, and I have this fun little application that has infinite scroll. Every time I scroll to the bottom, it fetches more quotes about programming. If I go too far, I can always push this button and go back to the top of the page. Notice that every time I scroll, it executes a fetch to fetch more quotes. So how do I test this? I need to verify a couple of properties. I need to make sure that when I scroll, it fetches again, that the loading indicator appears and disappears, that the network calls are made correctly, and finally that it scrolls and I can always go back to the top by clicking go back to the top uh, widget. So let's start. So first I'm just visiting the page, there's nothing to it. Well, when I visit the page, it loads the items. So I want to make sure that the loading indicator is visible and then becomes invisible. Something I have covered in my blog post about negative assertion. So I can say so I get and a thing it's like loader should be visible. That's the start. Let's see if it works. And I think this is the right selector. Notice the loader appears and then it should disappear. And again we have to retry getting the element and followed by assertion. Okay, so it appears, disappears. Now I want to scroll to the bottom of the page and make sure that the loader appears again. I can say side window, scroll to, these are all built-in Cypress commands. So let's see if this works. Yeah, it does work. Notice it scrolled and the loader appeared and we can say again, should be visible and should disappear. You can do it as many times as needed. Perfect. The second test that I want to write wants to check that the items actually appear. First, it starts with, I don't know how many items, probably 10, 20. But when we scroll, we want to make sure that more items are fetched. And I know that it always fetches the same number of items because I can open the dev tools, look at the fetch and see what it returns. I have to look here, unfortunately. Let's see. Okay, limit 10, All right? So it always fetches 10 items. But let's say I pretend that I don't know how many items it fetches. I just know it fetches them the same amount of items. It fetches and items at a time. So right here, when I visit the page, I will get the quotes and I think the selector is a quote, okay? So let's see if this gets up. Okay, 10 items and these are the right items. And I'll say should have length. And in this case, let's pretend we don't know if it's 10. So I'll say, well, no, at least you know, greater than five. That seems like a right amount. And then I want to fetch them again and make sure that I have double the number of items. So what I will do here, I'll say then. And right now I have the quotes. So these are all the quotes found in previous site get command. So what do I do here? Well, I scroll to the bottom. And now I can get the quotes again, and this time I should have the length of them should be quotes length multiplied by two, right? And if I scroll one more time, it should be three times the number of quotes, so 30. And I can repeat this process a couple of times just to make sure that my application and my API is working correctly. Perfect. 40 quotes. Now the next test I want to write confirms that the application calls the backend API correctly. So right now if I look at a network right here, I can see what is this. It's JavaScript tutorial .net slash v1 quote slash. So we want to confirm that those calls happen. Okay. And we can say it fetches quotes from API and we'll run just this test. So in this case, I want to stop listening before I visit because the application is making the first fetch on load. So I'll say so I intercept all requests to get. Now I don't care about the server. So it's just V1 quotes and anything after that. And I'll give it an Alice quotes. Okay, I know that I use the right intercept format because I can see the alice to that call in the command log. So when I visit, I want to make sure that that call happens. 
so I'll wait for it. And now I want to scroll again and confirm that that call happens again. Perfect. Now I can do it as many times as I want and it should call the API again and again. Now notice it did not happen here. Why not? There's some flake in this test. Maybe I'm visiting them too quickly. So it like tries to scroll twice, right? While it hasn't finished the previous call. So that's why I will actually add those statements right here. So when I visit and wait for the quotes, it should be 10 in the page, right? It should be 20, 30, and 40. By adding extra assertions, I'm actually slowing down the test run. So it doesn't run away from the application. Perfect. We confirmed that the network calls are happening as expected. And one more test I want to write is I want to confirm that this element really brings me back to the top of my page. So I'm going to start again by creating a new test and I'll say to the top. Okay. Visiting the page. Everything is good. Now, how do I know if a page can be scrolled or not? I have to look at the window object and it has a couple of properties that tell me if I'm scrolling or not. So I'll get the window object. It's scroll Y properties, the one I need. And at start, it should equal zero. There is no scroll in the page. Now, if I go and scroll to the bottom, right, it fetches more quotes, so I can confirm this, okay? But I can also check the scroll right now, right? And it's no longer going to be zero. It should be greater than, I don't know, let's say 100. Okay, so 400, perfect. And I can scroll to the bottom again and confirm that uh, we have 30 items and maybe more than 500 is the scroll position. Now, this scroll position will depend on the viewport size and the window size. So on CI, it probably will be a different number. So that's why it should be greater than, but not really you no know, hard coded. So once I reach this particular um, number, right? It doesn't really matter the one, how many times I scroll, but once I'm happy, that's where I want to click on this element. So let's find this element selector. Okay, so it is. So I get back to the top by ID and I'm going to click on it and it should bring me all the way to the top, which is what I can confirm by checking the scroll uh, Y uh, property on a window. Okay. Did you see the scroll? Let's, let's try this again. So it's fetching more and more items and then scrolls back and we confirm it by checking the scroll Y position. So this is how I deal with infinite scrolling applications. I can confirm that they are loading more items and the loading bar shows up, that it actually fetches and the number of items in the list keeps growing, that it calls the API when I scroll down every time, and that if I want to go back, it actually works.